take questions right out of the gate, so y'all go ahead. It really seems like you guys had a really good this for this cycle. Had a really good goal that game at the end of that third period. What happened there at the end of the from you? We just we we lost our poise and our focus. Um, it's really difficult to simulate that type, that type of situation. Um, we haven't been in it this season um, with with what was on with what was at stake, and we just we we found our way to the wrong side of plays. And um, unfortunately, these are young guys, you know, and. Uh, the responsibility is mine. It falls on me. Uh, but it, it's just one of those ones that's it's it's tough to simulate that on a daily basis. And and um, but that's what happened. We just we, we we lost our focus and our poise and 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 the momentum. Uh, the momentum hurt us. Chris and many of the players too uh, did such a good job defensively. Just seemed like you were frustrating them a lot tonight. What was so effective? Up until I just thought we were taking away time and space, and we were playing hard, um, which is who we are when we're when we're at our best. I think we defend we defend pretty well for the most part. Um, when we did break down, Ryan was there to make saves, uh, but that's that's pretty much who we are uh, when we're, as I say, when we're playing good hockey. Is we're we're defending and we're taking away time and space from our opponent, and I thought we did that through, you know, 58 minutes. Questions for student athletes. <clears throat> um, for any of you guys to come off of this, you know, when you're in the tournament, you know, what do you think it takes to kind of get past this and get on to next week? Stephen, why don't we start with you? I think it uh, takes time. Uh, I don't think anyone's really thinking about that right now after that game, so. You know, we have we have time all week to uh, focus on what's ahead of us, but you know, we know that's there, so we'll, we'll deal with it when it gets there. But for right now, I don't think anyone's uh, too worried about that. Stephen, can you talk a little bit about playing in pain? You know, a lot of people had you counted out for postseason play, and is it just a matter of will? You know, what's uh... We got uh, <clears throat> we got uh, a good number of guys playing playing sore, playing through injuries. So I'm I'm nothing different. I'm sure they have some guys playing through injuries too. Um, you know, in this sport, uh, there's no excuses. We, we try to stay in the lineup as much as you can, and you don't want to let the, let your teammates down, and you don't want to not be a part of games like this. So you know, if you can play, you're going to play, and we got lots of guys doing that. Freddie, is there any silver lining, meaning that uh, your season continues, you don't have to give up your sticks, you get to keep playing? I mean, it's tough because we got to turn the page and then we just lost an opportunity to win something and it's it's always really sad and we'll for sure be thinking about it for the next couple of days, but I mean, there's another championship at stakes and I think I think we just got to move on and that's that's our next goal, winning the next game and then if we keep winning, it's championship that we can go get and it it for sure be awesome to be a national champion so we got to just turn the page and keep working hard Chris I know after this loss it's a tough thing about but this being your ninth season what kind of personal feelings are you feeling that you've achieved making the tournament after 29 yeah I, I don't feel any sense of achievement as we sit here right now um I feel like I've let these these boys down a little bit. Um, that's just the coach in me. I think um, it's not a selfish thought. It's just a thought. I don't I don't want them feeling the way they feel right now. I, I would like to take that away from them if I could and put the burden on me. And um, but it's part of sports, man. Uh, unfortunately, we we were sitting here two years ago uh, in a different venue, um, but with the same result and the same feelings. Uh, but the difference was tonight we we felt like we we had that opportunity in our in our grasp and we let go. Um, so I will say uh, congratulations to Mike Hastings and, and, and Minnesota State. I mean they've. Um, They've been unbelievable representatives of this league and, and, and a very difficult uh, opponent and a well-deserving champion. And we'll, we're proud to at least 
represent the WCHA at the national tournament level, but again, right now, there's no sense of accomplishment. Anything else? Okay, thank you, John. Thanks very much. Thank you.